Well, after going into Google Maps, which I'm in now, and then on my phone, and then pressing on my phone and going to your timeline, it goes up and says go back in, going back in time, and it gives you some information. For example, it shows today where I was today, which is nothing. Right? So if you press that today thing and then go back, you, you go to there, it gives you actually the date, and if you then skip backwards, which I'm doing very quickly, You'll notice, by the way, I go right back to 19, 18, 17, and start to get to the situation where some of these have got a slash through them. The ones with a slash through them means there wasn't any data recorded for that day. So this is Google Location Services, and it's telling me what dates have got data on it. So if I press one of those ones, for example, I think, says that no visits today, I didn't go anywhere that particular day. So if I go back again, whoops, I'm going to start the whole thing again. That looks like it, All right? Okay, so I go to your timeline, okay, go back in time, goes to today's date, doesn't go back to there, so I have to go back there, so we just go back. So I just, looks like there's no way of going back, I don't know if I can go back of here. Oh yeah. You can go back by can I can. 18, 17, 13. So I go back to 2011. It's in 2011. You can see there's, there's data in in 2011. So if I go right back there, 2010, they've all got slashes through it. 10, 11. Okay. So, and there's some starting there. So there was all slashes there. So I'm starting there. So it looks like the first one it's got is the 1st of December 2010. And if I go into there, it shows me a particular waypoint. I was there at that particular point. Now, so it's proving that uh, there is data in that Google have been keeping for, for me for the last 10 years, and I want that to happen. However, just to check my own records, what I've also got on my server... Jeff's server, okay, in Jeff's data, and phone, and open, peach, uh, p, 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 somewhere, o, p, h, phone, Jeff, Oz data. I have got my own data going back to 2011. So in 2011, I started using a mobile phone with an application on it called Aussie Explorer for Android to so start recording and if I go back to 2011 you'll see it keeps a track a file for every single day the 6th, the 7th, the 8th so every single day it keeps a file and in that file it is a, a track log of where I've been on that day but if I go back to 2011 and select from 2011 all the way through to 2021 everything in between go down to here for more and go into properties of that and go in that adds up how much data that is for the last 10 years and you can see it's only 164 megabyte only 164 megabyte by today's standards that's 10 years of all my uh, location history it's only 164 megabyte which is equivalent to 2961 files it's not uh, i don't do it every single day if i go back even further, prior to having phones to connect with GPS, I used to have a dedicated GPS, and I kept that in a file called data, which is here somewhere, data, all right, and here, down the bottom here, I've got data going back to, I think, I've, and I didn't keep one for every single day at that particular stage, but I've got data going back to 2000 and from the year 2000, uh, 02, which was uh, 2000, I think, and 03, 2003. I've got somewhere, I've got a file for 2000, the year 2000. So, location data takes up next to no room whatsoever, considering that uh, photo data and video data take up lots of space. Um, uh, f um, Location data, all it is is a couple of numbers, two numbers, latitude and longitude, 
attitude stuck together, perhaps a little bit of other information. So that's why Google can keep records of every single person that has an Android phone and where they've been since they've ever had that phone. And they link that to your Google account. So that information is all available. That's all I wanted to point out. Bye.